so Jay just said we were on a, what did you say, honey? M&J Adventures. We're on an M&J Travel Adventures. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to Rockport, Massachusetts. Rockport, Massachusetts. Hmm. It's been, I don't know how long it's been since we've been there, if we've even been there, but... I was going to say, have we ever been there together? I don't know. We may have driven through, but, I mean, it's just a little bit uh, away from Gloucester, and I know we've been to Gloucester, so I don't know if we've ridden through Rockport or not. It's going to be interesting because it is a frozen tundra out there. It's 27 degrees, icicles and snow and yuck. Oh yeah, our car is frozen. Our car was frozen solid. It is sunny, so you know that's kind of good, right? It'll well, kind of warm up a over, little bit. It's sunny, overcast. cloudy, overcasty. Um, but so we have no idea what to expect. We will see. I am dressed in layers. I can barely lift up my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I have like thermal pants on, then a pair of pants on top of my thermals. I have a thermal. Um, undershirt on and then I have a heavy sweater on top of that and then I have a coat a scarf and a tight knit headband um, I would love to have worn my blue one that Nora Knits made me from Canada to match my scarf but the knit is it is lighter so I don't know how to square looser but so this is tight and it'll keep my ears warm yeah especially as we get closer to the ocean we are going to get close to the ocean. So, yeah. So, we'll bring you along. We'll see what, what happens on our M&J adventure. adventure. Haven't had an M&J adventure. Well, anything that we've called an M&J adventure in a while. Cold. You think? Yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to stay out here. I know, huh? So, do we know where we are? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, is this Cape Ann? Yeah, we're on Cape Ann. I don't know the name of the beach, but definitely low tide. It sure is. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So this will be a good test for my GoPro because I've been walking. Now I'm doing the selfie side. Put my hood on. <laughs> my head's cold. <sighs> but yeah, this is kind of cool. The rivets of the ocean, water, waves. Look at that house up there, huh? Yeah, I got some nice pictures of it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind living there. Oh, I know. Think we can live there? No. Can't afford it. Should have done this on the way down but so this is what rocky point you said yeah Ro rocky something or other rocky neck Ro rocky neck let's see what we can see up here at rocky neck
These guys aren't shy at all, huh? picture of that risky business. I was going to say. What you pointing at? Did you bring my le leash? I didn't bring your leash. Do okay. you need it? Well, we'll have to be careful. Uh-oh. Look at that. We couldn't come with our... Oh, look at this, honey. Good thing you didn't bring your drone. Okay, yeah, no drones. They've added that on as an afterthought. Yeah. Maybe. I definitely probably want something I can attach this to. Like if I want to just hang it on my neck. Oh, okay. So, here we are. Mass, M &J Massachusetts. M &J Adventures. Another M&J Adventure. Gosh, no. Halibut Point State Park is in Rockport, Massachusetts. We'd never visited the park before, but it was really cool. Had lots of walking trails and it went right out into a point that overlooked the ocean. It was really awesome to do, although it was extremely cold on the day that we went. Off season parking is free. In season, you do have to pay for parking. They do have restroom facilities available and picnic areas as well, so it's really nice. Well, that is really cool. Is that not cool? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. It's like a quarry. Is that what you call it? A quarry. A quarry? A quarry? <clears throat> that was the name of the Beatles original band they were called the Quarrymen. Really? Yeah. That's rather cool. Is this a path? Yeah it is. Chilly. Just a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Even at 32, it's chilly. <laughs> oh, Lordy.
that way out there? Isle of Shoals. Really? Yeah. See Rook Nuclear Power Plant. Wow. Salter Beach. Beach. Yeah. That's like kind of cool. Put my gloves on. Hello, Haley. Pretty well doing everything in my, my GoPro, you know, most all day. A few cell phone picks, but maybe four. you want to come back in season you know warm weather <laughs> yeah probably have to pay well i don't know if you're doing up you'll probably come back in like april or may ah okay sounds good and the flowers are starting to bloom yeah that sounds good you remember. <laughs> did you just say if we remember yeah <laughs> well do a calendar entry and set up a reminder. <laughs> yeah, we always say, oh, we're gonna go back here and do this, and you know what do. Life gets in the way. Oh, it's like that place we go to the giant staircase. Yeah. Remember where that was? Name. One of the fingers. I just don't remember which one. Down by Cook's Crossing, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Hippie table, honey. I just don't know how to, I, I'm sure I could do a self-timer, 
but it's recording. We are in Gloucester. Yeah, right by the fishermen. By the fishermen. Just a working pier. There's a sailboat out there. You think it's so cold and there's a sailboat out there. Jay's gonna fly. What have you named Mr. Drone? Anything? No, nothing yet. into the so it was a little bit windy as you can see by some of the rocky motions of the drone but flying over Gloucester Harbor was really pretty cool Gloucester Harbor is a working harbor and it is really popular you know obviously with commerce and all that but it's starting to get really popular with boaters recreational boaters located about like 25 miles northeast of Boston and it's in Essex County, Massachusetts. Look at how pretty these buildings are. There's a little over 30,000 people that call Gloucester, Massachusetts home. So it is a big city. It does have several different villages that incorporate the town. So it's awesome. They, they made movies down here. The Perfect Storm, I think, was filmed down here. Uh, a number of other movies and things of that nature were filmed in this area. And so flying the drone over Gloucester Harbor was a pretty cool. Here he comes for his final descent. And it's so funny. I always love when we have the clips of the drone coming down because this Jay. And oh, the harbor is a mess, isn't it? But, and there I am walking up and I'm using my GoPro filming him <laughs> while this is happening. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun though. So it's a, it's kind of like a foggy. Kind of, it is foggy. It is kind of, yeah, except my eye, you know, it's, I'm always wearing my eyeglasses because the light hurts my eyes. But Jay and I are on our way to go meet my sister and my mother and we're going to Tully's, right? Yeah. And that's a little uh, local, local restaurant that's a very popular local restaurant in the town of Epic. So we're having a late lunch or a early, early dinner which means that we'll be home in plenty of time to veg out in our jammies and be in the living room and maybe make you a bottle of wine or something. A bottle of wine? Well, a drink. <laughs> Whatever. <gasps> maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? So Christmas is over with babes. Yep. And New Year's is, is tomorrow. Yep. Any, any, uh, any any parting words of wisdom to 2021? Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Don't let the door hit you in the arse. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye 2021. Yeah, it was it wasn't that bad of a year. Um, I mean, there was a lot of good things that happened, but some, there were, there were, some things that were kind of tragic too. Yeah, but. there were a lot of good things that happened to us personally, right? Yeah. In that sense. Um, we, we worked hard, we, you know, we achieved some of our, our goals, but then we had some very, very sad things in 2021. Thankfully though, you know, those sad things. My brother, you know, I'm talking about my brother, obviously it, it could have been very different, his end, you know, so I, I'm thankful that I perceive he went quick and painless, you know, type of thing, but who knows, right? Uh, As opposed he, to having a lingering, because yeah, he was he went such a quick smoker. And that, that was a blessing, I think, for him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, his life after Vietnam was just very sad. I always say he never came home from Vietnam. Yeah, he probably he, didn't. Physically, he came home, but he was never Billy. He was never the same after Vietnam. That was really sad. 
but 2021 in in retrospect my mother still has her health held her health and and oh, yeah. still is doing good years old and just she's such a pistol oh, she's... you and i are doing good i think our our, re our relationship has always been strong so you know, you have your moments of your stuff. I have my moments of my stuff. But ultimately, we're usually on the same page. Yeah. You know, so that's a good thing. And we like to share a lot of things together, you know, which I think is, is super helpful. We like to do a lot of the same things. Camping, for example, is, is uh, you know, one of the things. And yeah, golfing. You like golfing, and I don't mind that you like golfing. <laughs> I don't know that I would, it was the same thing, you know, I was thinking about when we got married, you know, and I wanted you to learn to ski, right? And you wanted me to learn to golf, right? So when we're old, we can do these things together, but you can't remake someone in the mold you want them to be in. You know, they're, they're already molded. You're not going to be a skier. I'm probably not going to be a golfer. Right. I might master riding the golf cart with you. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> but yeah, but hey, we got the bikes. We have bikes. We ride the bikes together. Yep. We go, we like to walk the beach, we like to explore. So, there's lots of different things that we like to do together, which is like super cool. So, yeah, and uh, you know, as long as we can keep our health next year yeah. and my mother stays healthy, you know, and we don't have any issues health wise on her end, I'm really optimistic for 2022. Yeah, so, anyways, happy new year! Happy new year.